All right, guys. So in this video, I am going to be going through all of the different future MLB stadiums that we will have over the next 10 years from 2025 to 2035. How many new stadiums will be opening? Could be as many as seven or eight, honestly, based on MLB expansion. And we will be kicking it off with the one stadium we pretty much know is going to happen. It is the Tampa Bay Rays new home. These renderings were released last year. And this has been fully approved for around $1.3 billion, a smaller capacity. It does look like they've got some nice Stingray tanks in the outfield there overlooking the field. And you do also have a decent batter's eye as well, but a very small stadium. Of course, it's going to let in a lot of natural lights, although the roof itself is fully enclosed. It's nothing like a translucent roof or anything like that. So that one is confirmed and that one should be opening preferably by 2028 unless they run into speed bumps and then it might get pushed back but I would imagine 2028 in terms of that one now let's get to the speculated stadiums beginning with the Las Vegas athletic situation now I think it's probably one of two things in terms of what's going to happen or I mean technically there's another option but the main ones are the A's go to Sacramento for the three years and then they move into their new stadium we saw the renderings for it the Sydney Opera House type thing pretty crazy that's an option to where there'd be another MLB stadium, a brand new one in Las Vegas. Or if the funding doesn't happen with John Fisher, right now they're around $300 million short, we could get a new MLB stadium in Sacramento to where maybe Sacramento takes advantage of the opportunity of getting the A's, even if it is just for a short amount of time and they sell out every game. They really want a team there. You could maybe see something like that. Or another scenario could play out. It could come out that they're not moving to Vegas, but also they're not going to be in Sacramento to where they relocate to maybe another a newer city, kind of like an expansion type, but it would be a relocation, possibly to Nashville, although that is a situation where a lot of these cities that don't have MLB teams, they want an expansion team. They don't want the A's in relocation. Even you know Las Vegas locals don't want the A's. So there's a lot of potential different new stadiums that could be happening when it comes to a move by the athletics, but I think the most obvious one right now would be a brand new stadium being built in Las Vegas. If that faces significant complications, I could see them staying in Sacramento and building a brand new stadium there, but MLB is going to need an answer on if the new stadium in Vegas is happening, I probably within the year because they need to start construction on it soon, and if it doesn't happen, they're going to be scrambling because they're going to have the A's playing at a minor league ballpark with no potential plan. So there will be another new stadium. We just don't know where it's going to be, but probably that one, that the renderings that look like the Sydney Opera House happening in Las Vegas by 2028. And then we do, of course, have new stadiums coming in the form of expansion. So right now, unlike the NBA and the NHL, where they've got a lot of arenas, technically you don't have to build a new one if you get an expansion team. With MLB baseball, obviously, you know, you're going to be, need to build a new stadium. So we all expect, or we right now I would say Nashville would be the number one favorite to get an expansion team. They did release renderings on a ballpark a while ago. It was like a retractable roof ballpark right next to Nissan Stadium. It is funny because there's just no way that ballpark can exist just based off of the way they're building the new Nissan Stadium. That area where they have it existing is going to be kind of like a social space and a bunch of apartments, things like that. So it would have to be in a different part of Nashville, but I do expect them probably to come up with another plan. Maybe it's a similar looking stadium. I mean, I think it's a decent looking stadium. It seems like it seats about 40K and it is kind of a cool exterior. So that possibly will happen. So that's potentially another new stadium, whether it's in Nashville, Utah, wherever, it is going to be two expansion teams, obviously. And I would say right now, Nashville and Utah are the two favorites. You look at the Utah potential new stadium. Those are very early models and they said they're definitely going to release newer ones that are more detailed in terms of the renderings so with Utah the great thing is the view and that's why it's going to be an open stadium it's not going to be a retractable roof it's not going to be you know a dome or anything like that it will be completely open if Utah gets a team that is we don't know they just got an, an NHL team maybe that puts them off of getting an MLB expansion team, but it will be two cities, preferably one East Coast, one West Coast, maybe Nashville and Utah, maybe Nashville and Austin, Texas, maybe Charlotte is the East Coast team and Portland is the West Coast team, but there will be two more brand new MLB stadiums, I would expect for sure, just because MLB expansion will be happening some point 
within the next three or four years. You also do have the Kansas City Royals situation, which right now is in flux, but they for sure will be getting a new stadium. Preferably by 2030, they want to be out of Kauffman Stadium, and they've had a number of different renderings in a number of different locations, but the most recent thing that I have heard is that they possibly could be moving across state lines on the Kansas side of Kansas City to potentially build their new stadium because they could be getting a better deal where 70% of the stadium would be paid for by public tax dollars. So we will see if it ends up happening. There is no rendering for the new stadium on the Kansas side. I don't know if they would just keep the same original rendering as they had or maybe tweak it a little bit, but that is another new stadium that should be happening in due time, probably by 2030, I would estimate at this point. And then another new stadium. This is another one that's very complicated, the Chicago White Sox. So we know the White Sox this last winter, they released the new renderings for their potential stadium opening possibly within the next four or five years right along the river in a beautiful area that's right now unoccupied. It's one of the biggest areas in Chicago, one of the biggest parcels that's unoccupied and it is an outdoor stadium. Now, the White Sox are a team... I'm not saying a relocation is for sure coming, but just based off of the ownership situation and how horrible they are, it would not surprise me at all. There are a lot of similarities to the Oakland Athletics situation in terms of how bad the team is, the lack of trust in ownership, and with the White Sox, it's even worse because there's already the Cubs in the city of Chicago, so MLB can kind of get away with moving the White Sox and face minimal backlash because Chicago technically already has a team. So if this stadium does happen, that'll just be another MLB stadium. Or if they relocate, they're going to be building another MLB stadium to to wherever they relocate to. And I don't know where that would be. I think in an ideal world, what would happen is they would do the expansion to Nashville and Utah. Or maybe another city out west. But Utah right now seems like the favorite. And then you would have the White Sox possibly moving to Austin, Texas. Now, obviously, you know, we don't know if that's going to happen. It's way too far out to predict something like that. Maybe they will build this stadium. Certainly, Chicago can support two teams. Even right now, with how horrible the White Sox are, they're still averaging an attendance of like 16K, and they're like 29 and 81. So it's not like their attendance is like 3,000 per game. It's just based on how big and how populated the city of Chicago is. So it can support two teams, but it will be something interesting to follow. So that is another potential new stadium that will be happening one way or another. If they do relocate, wherever they relocate to is going to need need a new stadium or they're going to get one because right now guaranteed right field, they want to get out of that ASAP for sure. And then this one is just pure speculation, but within the next 10 years, I think something's going to have have to happen with Angel Stadium. They've got a bad ownership situation. They have horrible contracts. Mike Trout is always injured, and I just don't know what the future is for the Angels. They pitched some type of renovation surrounding the area because right now it's just a giant parking lot desert, which obviously... A lot of teams are going away from when it comes to designing their stadiums. It's just an outdated look. You want to have a a more impressive appearance surrounding it. Otherwise, it's going to take away from the aesthetic of the stadium. But Angel Stadium is just so old. The original upper deck was built in the 60s. They've remodeled it a few times because it hosted football, but it's just really, really old. And I cannot see it lasting another 10 years, honestly. I would be very surprised. If it does last another 10 years, this is going to be a really bad situation, and it possibly could get ugly, similar to what happened to the Oakland Athletics, where we all know they should have been out of the Coliseum over a decade ago. So this situation may get ugly, but I do think you could be looking at the Angels building a new stadium, maybe a retractable roof stadium or something like that, considering the Dodgers have Dodger Stadium and it's open. Maybe they might want to do something different and build like some type of translucent roof. I don't know. That's just my speculation. There have, there have been talks about possibly building a stadium in a different area outside of Anaheim, but I guess we will see. That would be my speculation. They will get a new stadium within the next 10 years, but right now, really nothing is planned. So there certainly will be a lot of projects. If I had to predict like an exact amount of new stadiums within the next 10 years, I would say definitely the Rays are getting one. Definitely the Athletics in some form will be getting a new stadium. I'm not exactly sure where, but probably it'll be Las Vegas. Two expansion teams are getting new stadiums within the next 10 years, so that's four new stadiums. And then you're looking at the Royals getting a new stadium, the White Sox possibly getting a new stadium, depending on if they relocate or not, and then also the Angels. So I've got about seven new potential MLB ballparks being built within the next 10 years, at least six, and then the Angels is just pure speculation. 
But either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.